Welcome to Channel 8 News. Today we bring to you a striking new update on the Yemen civil conflict. As we are witnessing, there has been a bombing on Yemen's capital of Sana'a. A Saudi-led coalition were responsible for the strike on a weapons depot. It has been confirmed that 25 people were killed and over 300 injured. A very devastating event for the Yemen that has been suffering from their civil war. You might be asking yourself how such events have occurred. Today we'll be informing you on how this all began. Yemen, officially known as the Republic of Yemen, is a country in Western Asia in the southern end of the Arabian Peninsula. Yemen is the second largest country in the peninsula, occupying 527,970 square kilometers. Yemen's official capital is Sana'a, but due to its recent civil war, which started in 2015, and of which in February, rebels groups have taken control of the city, the government decided to temporarily make poor aid in their capital. The civil war started in 2015 with the Houthis, a Shia religious political movement, received money, weapons, and ammo from Iran, and the Houthis decided to overthrow Yemen's government, which is a Sunni, a religious branch of the Islam. The Houthis movement argued that the government was not treating them fairly, mistreating them, and that they were being discriminated, so they fight for equality and the right to be treated fairly. But some argue they fight to take over the territory of Yemen. So Saudi Arabia, with the help of the United States, bombed Houthi territory, helping to push away Houthi rebels or try and negotiate a peace back so Hadi's government can obtain control back of Yemen. Yemen is divided by two sides. One side are the Houthi rebels, who are allied and backed up by Iran, which supply weapons to the Houthi rebel groups. And on the other side of Yemen, there's the past government of Yemen whose president at the time was Wansar al-Hadi. And they are allied by 10 different countries whom include Qatar, Sudan, Egypt, and 7 other countries of the region. Their most important ally is Saudi Arabia because they are backed by the United States who are the ones who sell the military and intelligence armaments. This leading to a strong defensive and offensive structure to the Hadi's government and the supporters of the civil war. The continuous airstrikes from Saudi Arabia has devastated Houthi positions, ammunition depots, and bases, but has largely failed to pave the way for the recapture of Sana'a, former capital of Yemen. Saudi Arabia had the third largest defense and security budget in the world in the first year of the war, which started in 2015. And while the Yemeni war is only a part of the Saudi's military spending, it is still a large burden for a nation of only 20 million citizens. Yemen, different aid organizations are realizing that there are major obstacles trying to help people in aid of food, medicine, and other essential elements. The control that the Houthis have over the city of Taiz has prevented medical supplies from arriving to the most needed. Fighting in the city of Aden has made it difficult for the World Food Program to deliver aid in this part of the country. Also, Saudi Arabia has pressured aid groups to leave rebel-controlled areas of Yemen to prevent even more casualties. In January of 2016, a hospital that was being operated by the Doctors Without Borders program was hit by rockets, killing four people and cutting all medical assistance from the area. As a result of the war, more than 60% of civilian deaths have been the result of Saudi-led airstrikes, the UN says. The conflict has killed more than 10,000 people forced millions from their homes and pushed the impoverished country to the brink of famine. The Yemeni people were the poorest in the Arab world before this war. According to UNICEF, a Yemeni child dies every 10 minutes from severe malnutrition and other problems linked to the war. Also, many others are affected for life by malnutrition. The humanitarian costs are staggering. Before 2015, almost half of all Yemenis lived below the poverty line. Two-thirds of the youth were unemployed and social services were on the verge of collapse. Two years of conflict have devastated Yemen, left 18 million people in need of some kind of humanitarian assistance and created the largest food security emergency in the world. And 7 million people do not know where their next meal might come from. The World Food Program's executive director, Ethrian Cousin, warned in March of 2017 that the aid workers faced a race against time to prevent a famine also adding 
we have about three months of food stored inside the country. Yemen usually imports more than 90% of staple food, but a naval embargo imposed by the Saudi-led coalition fighting around the government-controlled port of Aden and airstrikes on the rebel-held port of Hudeira have severely reduced imports since 2015. A lack of fuel coupled with insecurity and damage to markets and roads have also prevented supplies from being distributed.